how different was your day, like day to day or the changes that you made for in terms of your yeah. role? So my so the way you know my, my schedule and the programming that I'd go through is it's fairly consistent. So and and one thing I do keep constant is the the time I have to take during the day for my workouts and my martial arts. Right. So that time is fixed. Yeah. <laughs> so that you know every 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 day between five and six I'll be at the gym or in ta- or doing taekwondo. And the rest of the day can be can evolve around it. It can start at, um, you know, for example, just a few days ago, I was on a call with, uh, uh, with some companies in the Middle East, uh-huh. and and there was a it was two a.m. here, yeah, and it was nine a.m. there. So, <laughs> so there's so we you know it's a global global marketplace these days. Today we have partners and customers and you know from uh, Japan, Hong Kong, India, all the way up to Australia and New Zealand, uh, yeah. Europe, Middle East. South Africa, <clears throat> so we f- do find ourselves working in a twenty-four by seven world. Okay. Now, so well, so you say hey, this is extremely difficult. How do you humans are not designed for this? Right. So the so I think we 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 evolved and uh, and come to realize that that as long as there is you know certain certain pillars that you can gravitate around, yeah, then you can accomplish this. So for my case. It is the you know the hour the two hours that I take to go for uh, to go to the gym and do my taekwondo. Okay, so this is uh, early morning. <laughs> no, so this is six, so five to six in the evening. Okay, so, so that's your regimented schedule and yes. everything else is flexible. Yes, <laughs> depending on calls with international correct. business merchants. Okay, correct, correct. Awesome. So we end up you know doing calls like I said midnight, one a.m., two a.m. Start early in the morning. Okay, so you get to you get to figure out how to revolve things down. What's Maybe the most important habit that you feel that you've developed over, uh, I guess, the course of your professional life. The, the most important habit I would say would be consistency. Yeah. So no matter what you do, you know, you pick your. So pick, and by the way, this will be important for for students. It'll be important for people that are starting out, and a lot of lot of um, people will come along and say, "I don't know what I should be doing," and the answer is really simple. It's what do you want to be a willing sacrifice towards. Once you can answer that question, whether it's you know, drawing or music or, or programming or running or you know, whatever it is, but once you find that, hey, I, I'm, willing to be, I'm willing to be a sacrifice for this thing, okay, then that is, you know, that is your calling. Yeah. And now you do need to train yourself to be consistent. Sometimes the alignment is so perfect that consistency just comes naturally. Yeah. And in other cases, you have to train yourself to be consistent. So, so in my case, for example, uh, Ever since I can remember, my after, my evening workouts have been there, right? So from back, I can go back to my you know, high school days, and I can still remember that that hour was sacred, <laughs> right? And it's been that way <laughs> ever since. Uh, I do taekwondo, you know, Wednesday Friday, and that's been there ever since. I do running Sunday morning, and that's been there ever since. I go gym the other days in the evening, and that's been there ever since. And the rest of the stuff will automatically fit in. You know, you can study hard, you can read, you can do whatever else you want. Yeah. And this all comes together. But you have to make it a consistency. Awesome. So in your case, consistency of exercise and workout has been like your pillar and everything else kind of falls uh, outside of that. In, it it supports it. It supports it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you use the word like uh, sacrifice. So someone, or can you explain a little bit more about Yeah. It? So, you know, let's say you, you, let's say you like drawing. Yeah. Right, and when you when you say I just love drawing, and I'm going to draw and draw and draw, and I'm going to express my creativity that way. Yeah. And when you do that, you know th- there will be challenges, right? There will be things that will call you away from that. There will be things that will distract from that. And you say, no, I'm going to you know not go see a movie. I'm going to sacrifice that because I'm working on something right now, right? So yeah. so you're willing. You know, nobody's forcing you. Right. Right. But you're a willing sacrifice to this, right? Yeah. You can. Uh, <clears throat> I used to love math, you know, I, I would just go buy math books and I would solve all the questions in the back of the book, every book I would get. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I would, just, I would just do that for hours and hours and hours, just, it was just fun. Oh, wow. Right. And, and not, nobody was asking us to study those things, but I just, I just uh, did it, right? Um, <clears throat> I, I remember my dad, uh, when I was a, my dad was an engineer, yeah. so, so he would buy me little kits, you know, little electrical engineering kits. Uh, little building, you know, little models, and I would just love those, and I would just tinker with that oh, forever, awesome. right? And yeah. uh, so th- that's an example of where, where your 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 love for that act, yeah, uh, 
causes you not to be distracted by other things. Yeah, so you truly had the excitement of like the STEM focus brain of sciences, maths, and engineering. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, and, uh, and my mom would say, hey, you should become a doctor. And I would say, no, I love engineering. 